And I'm going to start my speech in three, two, one. They say that individuals have to pass a political general knowledge test in order to vote this year. And we no need to worry about the test because we have time to learn about the test, which is about political general knowledge, as they said before. Yes, we have time to learn, but does it enough time for us to learn? Because learning something will take time as well as we have got something to do in real life, which is works, which is schools, and maybe you babysit a baby and so on and so forth. So not everybody have time to learn new things such as this political general knowledge. And also we live in a de developing country when people hardly reach internet to research things. So, so how come if we learn in rural places? So considering even to learn general knowledge such as mathematics, science, we have only got that knowledge from school. So it is hard for us to learn about political general knowledge considering we in the school on, only learn mathematics, science, and we have got um, that, that object only, only in school, not in internet. So as a developing country, we will be clear about this. Our human resources doesn't enough preparation for this to improve to impose. So we are not ready, in fact. If this policy be imposed, this will create more corruption, collusion, and nepotism. So in fact, um, coming to my first argument, in fact, Indonesia is a decom decom democracy country, referring to UUD 195 Pasal 1 Ayat 3, saying that Indonesia is a law country, um, so that we have to try to balance that the law by giving every single one their rights to vote, not only just the one to, who passed the political knowledge test. So, within the, within the democracy system, absolute power that only possessed by one side could possibly be avoided. Uh, democracy give us freedom of speech for the society, but as long as the system going, not everyone could speak freely. So, this test would, would just uh, make one person to be an absolute, to make one person to be an absolute power that um, control, control our country. So, it is, it is not fair by the, the other side. So referring to history, when people live in new order, um, Suharto was the president when he was chosen by MPR. So it is all doesn't represent society aspiration also. By indirectly, that kills people democracy right in Indonesia. So although freedom of speech being said in UD 1945. So and if we see the reality to be the candidates of the president, it also have it also have some cr criteria and qualification to be the candidates itself, to be the candidates of the president itself. Um, so meanwhile, um, the, the political, so we don't need to worry about the candidates being wrongly picked by the political parties because it has already passed certain tests like a health test, like a political general knowledge test itself. So the candidates um, has already been tested before before their uh, candidates their, themselves to be chosen to be the president and the vice president. So, and if that policy which is the political general knowledge being imposed, is that will really works? Because as we know that many policy gimmicks made by the government, the only purpose is just as the political tools, as the political weapons to. Uh, more, con more control the region itself, more control the country itself using the political tools. And so does it really will represent the society? We don't know because it, it, uh, it, 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 it will not be imposed in this particular time. So also they said that the politi political general knowledge will be good for society, so on and so forth, but the government doesn't elaborate what is the point of the test and what will be tested in the test itself. So, and we believe that the test um, is not so important because the participation on the, on the 2020, 2020 voting reached uh, by, by the survey reached 76% of the society. So it means that our society have already understand about the politics itself and also the test could just eat the government money and the time wasted by the test, uh, by making the test and um, Collect, collecting the test, which which is a need need to be need an expert to make the test. It also takes an extra time to make the test. So as refers to Pasal 27 Ayat 1, UUD NRI 1945, everybody has the same political rights to vote. So if this policy is imposed, it will be crushed with this UUD 1945. Therefore, this test cannot be imposed in Indonesia according to 
our human resource as well as the UUD 1945. Therefore, I am proud to oppose. Thank you.